So hi, this is Bernard Koenig, BK Solutions. We're going to talk a bit about uh, blower door, blower door operation. So uh, a blower door, what it does is it extracts air out of the house. We measured it with a computer and that gives me a number. It tells me how many cubic feet of air per minute get lost or get extracted out of the house. And that represents a certain amount of openings combined. And my job later on is to try to find those openings and holes and close them. Now, in an ideal condition, your house would be like a Tupperware from an energy point of view. That way, the energy losses for air leaks would be zero. Um, that wouldn't be very good for, your, for the air quality because after a while we just run out of oxygen. So um, what we have to do, what I normally do, is I just reduce the amount of air leakage so the energy losses get reduced, but you still have plenty of air to breathe and you don't feel any uh, negative impact of uh, air quality reduction. The other way to go is we reduce it further, make it tighter, more like a container like that, and then we introduce mechanical ventilation where we controlled introduce fresh air and extract the used air the used air out of the house now here in america i would say all oh, our homes are more like this so there are plenty of holes and even if i just close a third of it or half of it you still have plenty of air to breathe for example in my own house when i started here i had uh, about six to seven thousand cubic feet of air losses which was dramatic i mean uh, in a cold winter day, my heat would bring the temperature up to 68 degrees and 10 minutes later the heating system would kick in again because that air would just disappear, the heat would not stay in the house, it was uncomfortable. Then I reduced uh, my air leakage every year a little further, working on it, and today I have it down to about 1500, so I reduced it by four times, which is extraordinary. And it makes a very, very big difference in um, the comfort inside the house during the summer or the winter. So in the summer, I rarely need my air conditioning system because it's the air inside is very dry and comfortable and cool. And the air conditioning system maybe works an hour or two a day and that's about it. Uh, in the winter, I heat up the house to a comfortable level. And uh, after that, it stays warm for a very long time because the insulation in the walls combined with the air sealing maintains the heat inside the house. On average, a house in America has air leaks which contribute between 30 and 50% of the energy bill. A uh, very leaky house, it's like having a house with multiple open windows. I mean, literally, you can imagine a window of this size half open all year long. And you can heat as much as you want, you can cool as much as you want, it doesn't take very long and it gets either very cold in the house and uncomfortable or it gets very humid and hot inside the house if you have the windows open. When we talk about air leakage is how much air is actually escaping out of the house during a regular day. And uh, with a blower door like this here we can measure that. So let's go inside and check how this works once it's set up properly. Here I just put the fabric up to show you how uh, it looks like. That's about it. This is the blower door and we're going to set it up and we're going to test out, meaning we're going to measure now what the results are after the house has been air sealed and insulated. So this is a typical blower door configuration to do the test in and test out. The difference between the test in and the test out is going to be what has been reduced on air leakage. And to properly measure that, we connect the blower door to a pressure gauge, which is connected to a laptop. And each time I take a measurement, we're going to take 600 samples. And those samples are going to result in a number which is my either my test in or test out number for the air leakage. Before we start we have to make sure that the whole house has been set in winter mode meaning all the windows have to be closed and latched. All exterior doors have to be closed and locked and then we're ready to conduct the test. The test is driven by a laptop with uh, special software on it. 
it's going to control the blow of the war and it's going to bring it to a predefined pressure difference of 50 pascal. Once the blow door reached this pressure difference, we can start to sample the airflow or the leakage. And the laptop is taking 600 samples in total. Once all these 600 samples have been collected, we should get a linear equation. Now we have our samples collected and those 600 measuring points are going to be now converted into one air leakage number, which we're going to see now on the next page. So let's zoom in. And as you can see, it's quite accurate. And now we can compare what we had at the test in and between the test out. These are those two tests. And the change is going to show us what the actual air leak reduction was. And this needs to be compared with the contract. And in this particular case, I exceeded my contract obligation. So uh, that's what I prefer. So my concept is I only charge for what I deliver. So air sealing is performance based. And if I exceed or reach the target we contracted, then you pay me in full. If I underperformed and I didn't deliver what I promised on the air sealing side, you just pay proportionally less. And uh, that's how I operate.